Hi there and welcome to the session. My name is Dave. I'll be taking you through the session email for success and I'm super excited about this session because we're finally getting to reveal our new email system. Um, it's uh, similar in some ways to the previous system but it's got a lot more enhancements. It's a lot easier to use. Um, we've got things like a new feature for designing straight inside of Foodle, a graphical designer, kind of a drag and drop similar to MailChimp. Uh, we haven't done away with MailChimp, you still got that if you're a big fan, um, but now you can do it with any Foodle without having to leave, which is super cool. Uh, we've also got mail types, which allows you to handle this um, subscribing and unsubscribing of people from different lists, um, as well as uh, just a number of uh, quality of life choices that we've made as well to, to make life easier, based on some of the feedback that we've got from you guys. And we love your feedback, please keep it coming. While you test out this new feature, tell us what's working for you, but also tell us what's not. Tell us the sort of things that are still on your wish list that you would love to see. We, we aren't done by any measure, we've got a lot more that we want to do with this, um, but we wanted to get this out in your hands now that it's functional. So uh, welcome to our uh, test site. Let's just go straight to it, go straight to the contact section, okay? So immediately you're gonna see a, a little bit of a change to the design to what you're used to. So just as an example, if I go back to our current system, um, then you will see we've got the scene two here, we've got email text label, all of that stuff up there, and you go through this progress of scene from, scene two, content, attachments, etc. The new one is a little bit cleaner. Yeah, you can um, straight away go um, and see your emails, letters, text, labels all on the side here if you still wanted to get to them. So we've cleaned up that bit of the screen real estate. We can create new emails. We've got templates, a dedicated section for the templates. We've got your inbox, which is similar to what you're used to, your drafts, your sent and scheduled, uh, sending errors, inbox settings, and signatures is a new one here as well. So we'll be looking at those. But the first screen that you come to, we assume you're trying to send a new email. So who do you want to send an email to? Okay, this is similar to what we're used to. So we'll find someone. Okay, and we've added them there. You'll also notice that we've got this to slash BCC. Now, by definition, BCC is slightly inaccurate, but um, most people know it as sending an email to multiple people, but no one can see the other person's email address. We don't know who else we sent it to. So technically, uh, BCC stands for blind carbon copy, so all the emails should be identical, which they aren't in Enfoodle. We allow you to personalize them all. Um, but just for people that are comfortable with that idea of sending multiple emails without people seeing, seeing the mailing list, that's why we've combined them here. If you're wanting to do a traditional carbon copy where people do see the emails, you can switch this to CC, um, but obviously that means your personalizations go out the window. Um, they will all say, hi John. Um, all the text will be identical. So leaving it as default is what we recommend. So how this actually works under the covers, nothing's changed there. This is still your normal emails. We can see who all we're sending our emails to, same sort of thing as what we usually do. In this case, uh, Dan Carter doesn't have an email address. He's kind of protective around his email address. So let's add a group of people, like a newsletter group. Okay, here we can see our list there. But again, to keep things a little more simple, um, we found that a lot of people don't really refer to that, only a few people do. So for those people, they can show it and hide it as needed. And then Infoodle's gonna ask you, what are you actually doing? Are you just creating a blank email? So you guys will be used to this. Um, this is a traditional um, Infoodle email composer. We've got our subjects, we've got our where you're gonna reply from. So if you've got more than one email address, you can select that now in a little bit of a cleaner interface. Um, what's your subject? and then the actual design. At the bottom here, we've got the attachments all on the same page. We've got your signatures, which we'll look at in a moment. Um, we've got your mail types. Now we'll cover that in a moment. That's to handle all of your new subscribing and unsubscribing. Every email that goes out will need a mail type from this point forward. Visibility, those pre um, um, privacy settings. So again, we've got those three there, plus you can default to a particular one. So we usually recommend some sort of staff group. It's a good idea. 
And then we've got a couple of advanced settings. So preview text, this is more for campaigning and that sort of thing, if you wanted to get more specific. So um, some inboxes like Google, uh, you'll see the main heading, the main subject um, on the line, and then you'll see some text coming afterwards. And that's usually the content of your email, but uh, Gmail and a couple of other providers allow you to actually have your own text up there. So you can say um, summer, sales um, especially for you so you probably would have seen that sort of statement on something like one day or another um, advertising thing but you can use it to um, get a, a few words a snapshot of what the email is about to try and uh, capture people's attention and actually get them to open it so we give you that also response tracking um, campaign. So this allows you to start dealing with campaigns and see the effectiveness of these emails. So um, we sent out a thousand emails, how much of a response have we had from that? How much of a financial response have we had, etc. And finally designs. Um, if you've got a design in place, we can use that. That's the sort of um, what we use in receipting as well, where you've got that graphical design ahead. And then straight away we've got save as template. You'll notice the box um, highlights around the edging there. Um, and that's showing you everything that it's gonna save. Um, so if you wanted to come back to this, it's gonna save that as your template. Or send a test email immediately, or send an email to everyone immediately. So it's all on this one page now. Or we can tick this box and we can actually schedule it for a later stage as well. You'll also notice, notice down here, we've got our draft saves. Some of you would have no, um, noticed, or some may not have ever noticed, but we used to have just under this block, a um, saving, save now, not saved, etc. We've moved that down to this little taskbar here, so it's got a little bit more of a home. And then personalizations used to be on the right here. That has now moved to the left-hand side. Um, we found that on smaller displays, those personalizations used to drop to the bottom of the screen. Um, so we've moved them all to the left here, so you can always find them now. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so that's the what you should be comfortable with, what you're used to using. It's all nice and clean and in one place now. So it should be a little less intimidating, a little less um, confusing. At least that's our hope and what we've seen with a few of the people we've been testing this with. So let's go ahead and create a new one again. And this time let's uh, select our emails from MailChimp. Okay, so similar design to what you're used to. You can still view uh, what they look like um, and uh, decide if you're gonna use them as content email or as a design. So it's all still there, what you're used to there. So um, from a technical point of view, we haven't changed anything here. We've just, again, got it all on the single uh, page for you there. Um, again, we've given you the ability to add your preview text, your mail types, etc. Finally, we've got templates. So if you're wanting to load a template that you've saved, we've got this new templates area. We give you the ability to categorize them as well. So if you um, use a number of uh, email templates often for um, general newsletters, you can categorize those. If you use some for just general communications or onboarding, you can categorize them. Um, you can also set, are they templates that are private? So specifically to you, or are they global templates? We wanting to edit any of these, we can uh, click that edit and we can rename this. So let's uh, make it camel case post sales and we can color code them as well. Okay, so we'll save that and you'll notice now it's separated by that. And then we can create new categories as well. So this may be the onboarding and we'll give that a nice color there. Great, we've now got onboarding. And then you can create your new templates and assign them, etc. So we'll save that. Awesome. You can copy templates as well, and you can delete ones that you no longer need. So, moment we've been waiting for, the designer. Very, very exciting. Um, well, let's just go into it. Let's have a look. So we click designer, it takes a moment to load it up, and now you've got something similar to what, um, if you've had experience with MailChimp, similar to that sort of interface. Uh, first thing I want to uh, point out is it's saying no content here, drag content from the right, okay? 
And we've also got a few settings here, undo, redo, uh, preview it. And do you want to see it as a, someone would see it on a desktop or do you want to see it as someone would see it in a mobile? Okay. Again, we've got the attachments, the mail types, all of that same stuff is at the bottom there. But let's have a look at the top. So firstly, we can drag an image on here. So let's do that. We can then click into that and we can upload an image from our computer. Or we can apply some effects. We can drag and drop images as well. And we can also have links. So when someone clicks on that image, it's actually going to take them somewhere. So let's look at uploading one quickly. So we'll go grab one of our banners. And I've loaded quite a high quality one and it's resized it for me there. We can also do things like select in the background colors if we wanted to. So maybe we want to give this more of a tint to it. We can also change the um, background image and the entire row. So at the moment I've just done the background for that photo, but we can do the entire row as well. See that's changing that color there. We can add new um, columns and things like that. So you can organize it. So let's split it by two there and then choose our content for each column as well. So we'll go and we'll drag some, just some text here and we'll drag a button over here. And we can say sign up for our event. We'll change the text on that button as well. Sign up now. And then where does it take us to? So we'll just take us to Google for now, or it could be your website in foodall.com. And what do you want to actually do? Do you want to open a website? Do you want to send an email, send an SMS, call a phone number? So you can actually define what these are doing. So that could be a call us now. And if they're using it on their mobile phone, phone it will actually take them to their calling um, uh, app on their device. Changing the color of the text. So if we were to make this uh, strikingly obvious and change that background to a nice dark color. Okay, if people miss that, I'd be surprised. You can also do HTML. So if you've got someone that is into design, you can put code straight into there. Um, you can add dividers um, along there as well. So we'll just add another row and add our divider and so forth. And we've got a number of different blocks you can do. So the one that I'd really like to point out is our unsubscribe block, which you should have at the bottom. Um, and that's going to allow people to control their infoodle subscriptions, their mail types. Um, and there's a few different ways that they can do that with that. So there's, there's a few different things that you can do with this. It is really just drag and drop and have a play. It's very simple. Um, you don't have to worry about all the advanced features of the colors and stuff. If you just wanted to make a very quick, very pretty um, uh, email, you can. We're wanting to just change some global settings, you can, etc. So it's very easy. Have a bit of a play. Um, you can move these blocks around as you see fit. You can add new blocks um, above and below, uh, delete or duplicate. So maybe we want this banner up. Um, we want it at the bottom again. If I actually drag it, drag it to the bottom there, just by that. Let's then we decide to change the image. So we can go through and we'll use our other one. So it's very quick to just start changing things, adapting things for what you're needing them to do. The columns are super useful to, to get things organized as well, because that's going to allow you to do um, things like adding a small photo over there. Maybe a little person jumping. Let's see what else we got here. Let's do our little infoodle phone. And then over here we can add um, our just general text. Again, so similar to what we were seeing above there, but you could have a whole um, bit of text relating to some event photos that you've got. And again, you can make these clickable if you wanted to as well. So when someone clicks on that photo, it's going to take them to a blog or something to that effect. So very quick and easy to show you an example of um, one that's been created for us. Uh, let's have a look. So we'll click into one. 
So there's one that's been created already. Let's have a look to see if we can find any other ones. So there's just a basic one. This one's just using our normal designer. So these are how our templates are working. They'll remember what designer you used as well. So very quick to um, load up these emails again when, you, when you're done with them. So a couple other things we'll just quickly fly through is your signatures. So they have their own home now where you can select which signatures you want and set which one is your default. And that's the one that will load. Update them as you need to. So we'll get rid of that because it's clearly broken and we'll save that. Duplicate it if you're wanting to build a signature based on this one. Add a brand new one. So nice and easy there. We've got some inbox settings as well. So when an email arrives to your Infoodle inbox, what do you want to do? So this uh, used to be part of our, uh, every time you send an email, what did you want to do? We've um, realized we can just put it under this dedicated section. Do we want to forward any copies to anyone? And you can just keep adding people as you need to. Um, it'll also show you a list here of anyone that's forwarding emails onto you. And we have an out of office feature. So if you are going out of office, you can set which date. So maybe we're going to be taking all of December off to uh, travel overseas to the islands. Um, what's our email subject? Um, uh, scuba diving. Sorry. Um, and then whatever your message is. And that will show you that message uh, when someone emails in. It will show them the message rather. Um, we've also got it so if they're sending an email to you every single day, um, we're not going to reply every single time. Um, we don't want to spam them. So what's going to happen is we'll um, send it once every seven days to them just to remind them, no, I'm still out of the office. I'm still out of the office. It's recommended that you say I'm out of the office until in your actual email reply. So they know that as well. So a bit of uh, courtesy there and then just save. And it's just telling me that we can't start our out of office in December and then finish it in November. It doesn't make sense. So Infuel's picked that one up for us. We'll save that. There we go. We also have our sent in scheduled, which is very similar to what you're used to. We can see the campaigns that may have been used. We can see dates and subjects and who it was sent to. And we can view reports as well. So as far as viewing reports, we can now see when emails were sent. We can see a bit of a pie graph, any fails, open rates as well, people opening. If you hover over, we give you some tips. Um, so here we uh, global unsubscribe rate, and the um, suggested um, maximum you should have is 1% there. Open rate, um, a 40% open rate is actually very good, etc. Um, etc. So we let you see some of that. We also allow you to create email lists um, based on the people you successfully sent an email to and also to the ones that have been uniquely opened and you can add those people to a group as well if you wanted to. Um, here this isn't showing uh, too much at the moment because we only sent one email but when you're sending thousands of emails we can actually see when things are being opened etc as well and how often people are clicking so we've got all of that sort of information we can also see our unsubscribe and mail types nothing's happened on this particular email send out but we can see uh, people that have globally said i don't want to receive any more emails from you and some that have said it specifically for one or the other and we can also see our send to list as well. And we can search for particular people and uh, see did that email make it to them or not. So a few different upgrades there as well. Your inbox, very similar to what you're used to. These are emails coming in, so nothing too, too dramatic there. So the final thing that I wanted to just re-highlight or bring up is mail type. So how do these work? So traditionally, um, and in Foodle, if you were handling who subscribed to some emails and who hasn't, you would have a group and um, the group is who you want to email. And if they're not in that group, you can assume they've unsubscribed or some people will handle it both. So um, we want all of these people uh, to be in our mailing list and these people have explicitly unsubscribed. So you would have a separate group for that. So going forward how does this all work we still have a group for who you want to email because you may have some complicated lists you may sometimes mix and match so you still want to use groups for who you want to email your email list um, so as an example we've got our new contacts new member invites newcomers lunch so at times you're 
I'm going to be sending out targeted emails they aren't just a, a subscription list we don't want to have to create a subscription list or mail type for every single different type of email communication you send out so you'd have that sort of thing you would have newsletter groups so Christmas newsletter quarterly newsletter etc you'll still have your groups if they're in the group the intention is to send them an email however then we've got our unsubscribe list or our mail type so every email that's going to be sent out of Infoodle is going to be sent using a mail type so if we just create a new blank email we'll see down here mail types and at the moment uh, we've got three there system notifications so that's things like um, uh, new login details uh, notifications from the system like um, pre-generator reports etc a uh, general communication so most of your email communication will probably um, be sent from this um, by default that's where they're going to be sent from and then finally financial information so things like receipts etc so um, you want to be able to receive your receipts you might not care about any other email communication but receipts you do so in Foodle we actually um, force those emails to go uh, to people even if they've unsubscribed um, from the other lists because financial information is that that one um, uh, the one thing that is acceptable communication even if you've said you don't want communication so we are sending a welcome email so that's some general communication uh, welcome whoever so that email will now go through that you can also set this as a default if that's the main thing you're using and a lot of um, you out there will be only using this and you don't need to get any fancier than that and that's great uh, but some of you are doing more targeted campaigns you're you've got emails going out for particular um, ventures uh, one for building fund one for a particular uh, rescue project one for some missionaries and they're all different streams and some people just don't care about 90 percent of it but that um, mission project that's important to them so creating those mail types for that is very useful when people unsubscribe to these or edit their preferences they will see all of the available mail types so that they can pick and choose what's appropriate for them to administer these it's all under administration and you'll see mail types over here so it's nothing complicated you can reorder them so what uh, should be at the top we can see our unsubscribe list here and we can add new ones when you're adding a new one internally what is the name externally what is the name so that when they're unsubscribing what do they see what is the purpose of this mailing type and um, if we're no longer using this mailing type maybe it was temporary a temporary campaign um, we can archive that and the reason for that is because we only allow you 10 different mail types um, so that it doesn't get too complicated and so that it's not too onerous on the system um, so just be aware of that if we wanted to edit any of these we can just click that edit and we can see those settings there again cool. well this was a high level look at uh, the new mailing system i hope you guys are excited um, if you've got any questions please um, send us an email use our support section over here um, our help's got a ton of help videos uh, thank you for joining me see you later